Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending uh, from where you are on this beautiful planet. Gianluca Masi is speaking on the behalf of the Virtual Telescope Project. I am in Rome and I'm very happy to share with you something very beautiful that uh, I just grabbed from my balcony here in Rome and uh, that I'm really ready to share with you. You know, tonight we have a very special meeting happening uh, up there and that is uh, Planet Mars meeting uh, Planet uh, Uranus. Those two uh, wandering stars are sharing the same spot of heaven right now and they are less than uh, two degrees apart. So they are basically sitting on, in, on the very same spot of sky. Keep in mind that a couple of degrees is uh, about uh, four times the angular size of the lunar disk just to give you an idea i'm uh, i'm just trying to let me see if i can share with you also another thing that i really would like to make available to you while i'm starting so my friends as you know we promised you we promised to you to share with you the live view of um, planet mars meeting uranus and uh, i managed to collect these images just uh, a few moments ago and uh, i just uh, uh, took care to adjust the images a bit to make them better visible to you and uh, i want to share with you right away the image I collected a few minutes ago, my friends, and as you can see here, we are just seeing what we promised. That is the planet Mars on the bottom and the planet Uranus on the upper side of the image. And I took the liberty to add a label there, making possible for you to understand who is who. As I'm just uh, talking, this is still visible here in Rome but i wanted to take the best image um, as possible and uh, i'm very happy to share with you this site right away and now what i really want to do is to share something with my planetarium software making sure that we can understand what is happening and why we are just uh, having fun with this planetary conjunction just tonight my friends just adjusting a few things everything here is happening uh, as, I, as i used to say uh, live so sometimes it takes some 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 time for me to adjust a few things what is a planetary conjunction by the way you know planets are very famous because they are apparently that is moving in the sky well the motion is real but i want to tell that the motion you see is against the stars because they are close they are orbiting around the sun while the stars are incredibly more distant and even if stars are moving it takes ages to see stars changing relative positions and what made planets famous in the past was just their motion and planet in latin in, in greek just means wandering star and this is giving you an idea that is over the time planets are changing position continuously among the stars some of them are moving faster like mercury like venus like mars like jupiter it is well jupiter is just uh, i mean a turning point because at this point from jupiter to saturn and then just moving to planets not visible by naked eye like uranus and neptune they are really really slow and uh, in this case we have uh, mars just meeting as i said planet uranus and now i want to share with you this just to give you an idea about uh, planetary conjunctions you know what we have here my friends this is just uh, a region of the sky that where uh, I, we can see Uranus, here it is. And I hope that uh, you can see where the planet is. This is Uranus and uh, of course this is uh, Mars. And uh, 
over the time, as I told you, planets are continuously moving. Mars, it is uh, much faster than Uranus. And what is basically happening here, it is this. I'm just trying to see. Okay, sorry. Let me... Let me have this done. You can perhaps see this much better. Provided you understand. Let me see if I can just put six hours. Okay. Look, as I told you, you have Uranus here and you have Mars here. And this situation was just in the middle of July. Look in the upper left corner where you can easily see july 13. if i ask my system to start just uh, flying over time look what will happen mars is moving uh, much faster than uranus and at some point mars will be will just really move from behind to ahead okay and uh, when they basically reach the minimum distance we can say they are in conjunction. Look, and as you can see, look at the date, the minimum distance between the dots representing the two planets is just uh, uh, happening tonight. This is why we organized this live feed tonight, my friends. And again, I want to show you this to make clear we understand what the planetary conjunction is over the time okay let me see if i can just having uh, a smoother motion look time is flying look on the upper left how days are increasing and you see night after night hour after hour actually Mars moving faster than Uranus against the stars and look the moon here was there even uh, a few days ago Mars is just approaching Uranus which is uh, much more distant by the way and at some point Mars will be at the minimum distance angular distance and then Mars will just move ahead and uh, this will happen in, in the next days. Just to make clear, you understand what a conjunction is. At some point, two planets, each moving at its own angular speed, will hopefully be very close, and that will make the conjunction spectacular. And uh, perhaps you will remember, a couple of years ago, the very spectacular conjunction involving Jupiter and Saturn. And by the way, we shared that conjunction live and it was truly a planetary success. And uh, of course, this kind of conjunction are happening from time to time. Just to give you an idea, I just uh, asked my system to find the past conjunctions involving Mars and Uranus starting from 2015. It is just... Uh, uh, just my personal choice, just to give you an idea about the frequency of these things. Let us the system to find every time Mars and Jupiter are less than five degrees apart. And let's this search starting. I really love this uh, amazing tool. Look how also Uranus, of course, will be moving. And here we are, my friends. On 26th of February 2017, Mars and Uranus were about half a degree, quite close each other. I mean, it is an angular distance. Keep in mind, the planet Mars, just to give you a real uh, case, planet Mars at the time of this of this conjunction 
was about uh, three, three hundred million kilometers from us, while Uranus, of course, was uh, almost ten times the distance. You see here. So it is interesting to underline this when you have a planetary conjunction. The proximity of the two planets is just perspective, it's just apparent, because the real distance between the, the two bodies involved in such a conjunction is very huge. Just in this simulation, we, just are, we are just simulating this past uh, conjunction between Uranus and Mars, Happened, which happened in February uh, 2017 and uh, at that time, as you can see, the distance of Uranus from the Earth was about 3 billion, 3 billion kilometers, while Mars, which was apparently in the same spot of sky, was uh, 300 million, 10 times closer, just to give you an idea of this interesting fact. Now let's, let's look for the next conjunction and see how Uranus from time to time is just moving back. This is just a retrograde motion typical of put planets and that made our ancestor crazy by the way, trying to understand what was happening. And look here, three years ago more or less, February 2019, the two planets were sharing the same spot of sky once again. This time their distance were about one degree, that is two lunar disks. Now let's see when for the next time the two planets meet in the sky. Here it is, Mars approaching, how beautiful it is, and here we are. January 2021, the two planets were again sharing the same spot of sky. This time, as you can see in this little window, the angular separation was 1.5 degrees, three lunar disks, disks, just to give you an idea. Start again, and very likely the next will be the one we are observing and in fact my friends just tonight these two planets are again in the same spot of the sky and the distance is uh, a bit less than uh, 1.5 degrees a bit less than uh, three lunar disks and just to give you an idea about the next conjunction involving these two planets, I ask our uh, The Sky X professional software to look for the next opportunity and it should be in a couple of years we have understood this now. And in fact, next July 15, 2024, as you can see, basically almost two years by now, the two planets will be one lunar disk apart and that will be a truly spectacular conjunction to see just to give you an idea about the next opportunity to see this by the way if you have even a very small binocular go out there look for mars it is very very bright and uh, perhaps from our software you should be able to see where mars is here we are it is not are to find a red light very bright just not far from Orion and Aldebaran in Taurus the bull and if you have a binocular just point Mars and uh, at some point you will be able to recognize planet Uranus Th there is the a bright star it is basically the brightest object the first bright object you see around Mars tonight will be Uranus as I said but I still want to show you another very beautiful image, by the way, before I close this live feed. And uh, here it is, another image I grabbed tonight using um, a shorter focal length, a bit wider lens, 
as I told you. This one is basically a close-up with Mars, it's a red color and uh, Uranus shining there. But now we are using a much uh, significantly larger field of view and you can see even Pleiades there. And in order to make possible for you to understand who is who, I added the labels and even this is useful to see how different the scale is. Look how Mars and Uranus are basically closer here respect to the previous image, but they, the images were taken back to back. The only difference is the length I used. The previous image used a longer focal length, just uh, uh, going uh, to take a detail, okay, a close up, and now Minutes later, I used a wider field of view lens just to put in the same, on the same image even the very beautiful Pleiades star cluster and I really wanted to share this with you. That said, my friends, I'm, I was happy to bring to you this experience. I hope that you had fun with this uh, very quick site, just uh, looking up virtually thanks to the Virtual Telescope project and enjoy the meeting involving planets Mars and Uranus. That is a very nice conjunction. You can see it yourself if you, are, if you have a very, very small binocular. Well, in principle, Uranus is visible by naked eye provided you have a very good sight and you are under a very dark sky. But if you have a very small binocular, you really don't need a special binocular, just a very simple one. Look for Mars, bright, easy to locate by naked eye, then point your binocular to Mars and be sure to spot just, just the planet Uranus as well. You can really use also the map I shared earlier in this video. That said, my friends, I was happy to bring this to you. In the, from Rome, Italy. Hope that you appreciated this and that you had fun. And uh, I was very happy to make possible for you to virtually look at this. Gianluca Massi, Virtual Telescope Project is just going to close this right now. And I'm looking forward to share with you in eight days by now live the upcoming Perseid Meteor Shower. So save the date exactly eight this by now otherwise check our website of course we will be sharing no less than the beautiful perceived meteor shower thank you very much for joining take care and keep looking up